Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk to you about a VMware exploit that threat actors are actively targeting to deploy ransomware and how organizations can use Chaosoft Guardian to detect and prevent this attack. Chaosoft acknowledges that some customers who may be running VMware version 8 or Cloud Foundation 5.2 might have already patched for this exploit. This video is for those who have not patched or are running older versions of the software where there's no patch. So let's get into the exploit. The exploit allows any member of an active directory group named ESX admins to take full control and administrative control of the ESX host as depicted in the above attack chain. Chaosoft Guardian is a threat detection, change management, and recovery solution for Active Directory and Entre ID. Today, I will demonstrate how to use this solution to protect your environment from this attack vector. I will first demonstrate how to look for a potential compromise from this attack method, and then I will show you how to create a change detection rule with automatic rollback to prevent this technique moving forward. Let's understand how we can detect a threat. Let's open up Chaosoft Guardian. We've opened up Chaosoft Guardian and now we're going to go to threat detection. And the first thing that we wanna do is click on the dashboard. I wanna go in and automatically check for new threat definition. So let's go in and click off, check for updates. This should only take a few seconds. And then what we want to do is kick off a manual scan of our environment as we have new threat updates, new threat definitions. I've already kicked off the uh, threat scan before. So let's go in and look to see for this new alert. What I want to do is go under threat alerts and I can just simply type in bypass. And now we can see that we have detected that we have the ESX admins group inside of our Active Directory. So let's take a look at the threat. It's a high and the remediation uh, mentions you should go in and remove the uh, group from Active Directory. But before that, before you remove the group, I wanna give you some advice. The first thing you should do is go in and look at the membership, understand who, if there's any owner uh, members of that group and then go into your ESX host security logs to see if any of those users have been logged into any of your ESX hosts. This will help you um, do some threat investigation before you delete the group. Now that I perform that task, let's go into Active Directory and remove the group. So I'm simply gonna go into Active Directory and delete the group. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see the groups no longer in my Active Directory. So now let's look at the second use case. So we're going to go in and create a custom change role to automatically roll back the technique as I described earlier. So let's go in and look at creating a new change alert role with automatic rollback feature. So let's go back into Chaosoft Guardian. And what I want to do is go to the change monitoring node. And now I want to go to change history. As you can see right now, it's filtered for all changes. What I want to do is select this filter. And I want to focus on Active Directory group changes. So let's select Active Directory group changes. Now I have to define some properties. So let's go in and select some properties on what I want to look for. The object type that I'm looking for is an Active Directory group. And I'm looking for modifications. What am, what am I looking for? I'm looking for modifications of the group name, SAM account name. So now I need to add some additional um, values. I want to look for new or added. And I want to make sure that I'm getting everything that contains ESX admins. So I'm going to do ESX admins.
Then I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Then I'm going to run the query. Now by the little disk icon, I want to click Save As. And I want to give it a unique name. I'm going to call this VM Exploit. And let's go ahead and click Yes. And now all I need to do is add a new alert. So let's add an alert. Once I do that, I want to go in to the workflow steps and simply toggle on the automatic rollback feature. Once I do that, I now have a new alert that will automatically roll back a change. So let's go verify that we have a new change alert. And there it is, our VM exp exploit. So now let's go into Active Directory for a second and create a new ESX group. So let's create this new ESX admin group. And this may take a minute to show up. So now let's go back into Change Guardian for a second. And let's go under Change History. And I want to filter on oops, all changes again. I'm going to select that change. And I'm going to do a refresh. Okay, I can see that we went in, we created the group, and now we should see a delete within there. It may take a minute to reflect in Active Directory, so let's go into Active Directory and see if that's no longer there. So let's go back into my DC and perform a refresh. And as you can see, there is no longer an ESX admin group. Now that we were able to see that we're able to roll back the creation of that group, what if I modify an existing group? That's the second use case. So let's go in and change new group to a group called ESX Admin. So let's rename this group. And we're going to type in ESX Admins. We'll copy the group name to the same account name. And now we have the ESX admins rename. So let's go into Chaos Off Guardian to see what, what the change looks like now. It may take a second for it to pop in here. Now this probably isn't gonna be like your environment. This is my lab environment, it's a little slow. So we can see we have a fresh alert and we should have another alert here come in. And now if we open up update group, which is the last event, we can see that we went in and automatically rolled back the new group, the ESX admin name to the new group. So let's go verify that in Active Directory. So let's open up Active Directory and let's go in and do a refresh. And as you can see in Active Directory, it has been rolled back as well, and we have the new group back to the new group name. Thanks for tuning in, and tune in next time.